So for today's video, I want to go ahead and tame a crap ton of Astro Delphus, which is the space dolphin over here on Genesis Part 2. By the way, we're over here on Genesis Part 2. Hello, Pteranodon. I've got myself a little base camp here. Nothing special, just all of the essentials. And let's go ahead and head out to space. All right, so this is my first impressions of a Bloodstalker in space, because this is different from the lunar biome on Gen 1. And we are, we have some serious acceleration. Is it going to stop? There we go, I think, ish. Yeah, we're kind of slowing down, cool. All right, uh, pretty insane, actually. There's not as much to grab onto, actually, in this biome compared to the lunar biome, but I don't know, still pretty good. Now, I realized that Bloodstalkers were on this DLC. I just never bothered actually taming any over here. Um, you know what? I think we're probably gonna go on to something else. This feels a little bit awkward. And also, oh crap, what the hell? Okay, hey, Night Owl, I didn't mean to pull you out. Or Okay, yeah, I thought I hit this button. Mystique, no, not both of you. All right, Night Owl, let's go. So, uh, let me see, there we go. Yeah, if you spyglass on a Bloodstalker, it's kind of awful, it really is. So, uh, Space Dolphins, I wanna tame some. Now, as some people know, I do have a stack mod on my server and I have had it since the very start of the cluster. This has posed to be quite a little issue for the space dolphins, as I've been seeing in my comment section a little bit recently. Um, basically, stack mods have stackable element and unfortunately you can't feed that to the space dolphins. But luckily in ultra stacks, the transferable, transferable element is actually feedable to the space dolphins. So if you're having issues and you're running ultra stacks, you're fine. Just craft this, feed this to them. It's exactly like element, except you can bring it from server to server. It's kind of a little bit nice. Um, personally, I usually just turn it back into normal element anyway, just so I don't get questions about it. But for now, we have crap tons of this stuff and we are ready to go. We just got to find some freaking dolphins. I actually haven't seen any yet. So, you know what? What would be better? I, it, gliding around is not so fun on Night Owl and space. Uh, Undead Tesla, here we go. All right, third time's the charm. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah, come, wait. come here, come here. Don't don't go too far away from me. Don't want you dying to some freaking void worms or whatever. So yeah, uh, we gotta find some space dolphins. There's basically none around here unless I missed them all. Here we go, we got a massive group of them here. So let's take a little look at their levels. 24, 60, we had another one somewhere. Oh my God, it's so hard to actually spyglass these things because they their little trails go behind them and you can't even actually see where you're what you're looking at. I think I spyglassed them all and they're all like low level. I maybe missed one of them. Let me check. You know what? I feel comfortable enough to actually kill these things if I can actually hit any of them. Here we go, come on, fight me. Oh, I killed that one. Wait, what? Oh no, it's not dead. Why is it just like staying still? What's wrong with these dolphins? Why don't they care? What's happening? <laughs> I don't understand. We're just doing a dolphin massacre and they just don't care. They want to death, I guess. So yeah, I want to go ahead and try and tame as many high level dolphins as I can here today, which is going to be really annoying because these things are tedious to tame. They really are. But I'm going to power through because of course we will want to do some mutations with these things maybe i don't know today we'll, we'll see where we get here today because i i don't really know how many we're gonna actually find and i also don't even know if we're gonna get any good ones and everything but you know what we're gonna get as far as we can so guys go ahead do me a favor hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one and uh we're going for a million this year i keep mentioning it because i want to get there so let's uh let's subscribe if you're not already um there's no reason not to it's free and that's a great price uh i do not see any freaking dolphins at all here man where the hell are they i need a dolphin to be searching for the dolphins because they are super fast um although a maywing would also be pretty great out in space or are they i can't actually remember if they're fast out here anyway i'll find some good dolphins and then we'll be back another massive group of dolphins and they're all terrible oh 174 okay where's the Okay, the other one's level 54. Fair enough. Right beside that other pack of dolphins I just killed. Okay, wait, which one was the 174? Uh, this one here. Okay. Let me think, because I know if you kill... If I was to go ahead and kill its friends, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be very happy with me. Also, if you net them, they're also not happy. Although, it kind of almost looks like they've split up a little bit here. So, I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to go ahead and put away Tesla. Boom. And what the hell do you have on you? Oh, yeah, just a bunch of crap. And wait, this is it, right? This is the one? You are indeed. Okay, so how do you do this again? You gotta like pet them several times, right? Ooh, okay, it just batted me away. That's cool. Wait, 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 have we started the taming process? Oh, that's not the right one. Uh, no, we have not, okay. Fair enough, I guess we gotta then feed it, right? It's been a little bit, okay? I've only, I think I only ever tamed up one dolphin as well, so. 
Or did we? No, I feel like we teamed up more, actually. I can't remember, to be honest. Here we go. Pet him again, can we? There we go. Element. Okay, cool. Feed you something. No, come here. No, get back here. Ah, oh, get back here, you little turd. No, let me feed you. Or not. You know what? Let me go ahead and at least get that tracker on. Cool. Alrighty. At least we'll be able to see exactly where this thing's going and whatnot. Uh, we gotta make sure that we don't fly into it as we're flying along here. So we basically just gotta come up and then pet it. And then it's gonna allow you to feed it element. We just gotta wait for that. There we go. Three pieces of element. Cool. Oh my god, yeah. These things are expensive as well. I might actually need more element. I don't know. Yeah. Come on. All right. Ooh, okay. Oh my god, dude. The freaking <laughs> The dolphins. Gotta be careful. Don't bump into them. You're gonna hit them. You're gonna hurt them. That's bad. We don't like that. Uh, let's try and get some more pets in here. Here we go. Another one. Uh, got him again. Uh, I think we can feed him now. Right? Oh, crap. No! Come here! Oh, I know. I did feed him. Okay, never mind. Sorry, it's very hard to read it, like, when it, it's not actually visible to me. Um, <laughs> so it's getting a little bit confusing. We are doing good, though. I can't remember if you can really lose taming effectiveness with this, though. Maybe you can. Uh, again, it's been a little bit. All right, we gotta stay kind of still just so it doesn't uh, mess up on me. Okay, three pets. Can we feed you now? <gasps> there we go, 10 piece of element. Oh my God, these things are so expensive. Okay, wait, what's coming for me? No, nothing, we're good. All right, so so far it's cost me 19 pieces of element and we're only 34% of the way there. Now, bear in mind, you can get a lot of element on this map, but we gotta also wait for that biome to appear, so. That might be an issue, so we gotta chase it down, and just rub it down, and then stuff this element in its little stupid blowhole thing. All right, I think this might get it tamed. Yes! Okay, sweet. All right, let me go ahead and put you away and take a little look at those stats, and also that means that we can ride on it as well, which is great. Uh, that cost... Mm, I thought we had 330, but we might not have had 330. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so that costs, uh, what was that, like 57 then? If we had 330, then it costs 57. I'm not exactly sure how much we had. All right, in terms of stats, oh my god! Oh wait, no, okay. I just remembered this is technically a flyer. Oh, dude. Okay, so the, the points, um, it's kind of hard. You know, I'll just zoom in. So we have 53 points, which initially, like, I'm thinking, oh my god, that's amazing. But look at the movement speed it's zero because this is a flying creature and as we know flying creatures do not have points in movement speed which means that all of their other stats have extra points because it's less stats for those points to spread across so really like 53 is really good but you can honestly get 60 points into a stat with uh you know with these types of creatures so yeah i'll be looking for hopefully around 60 ish points for for the health and then maybe also the melee i don't know 51 points for weight is really good though and i'm gonna be using this one as my little fly around dolphin so let me go ahead and do this go ahead and just mount on this one also it's got beautiful colors it really does let me see i've also painted up my saddle look at this thing oh man oh, i love this saddle so much this thing's so cool uh we need element for it and do you take this type of element you might you might indeed Let's see, does that work? It does work, okay, cool. I didn't think it would, cause it's, I don't know, it's like a modded version of Element, uh, but I guess it's basically the same, right? Um, all right, cool, so I will be searching around for more space dolphins right there, sweet. Let me see, any good ones? Uh, 156 is pretty good, but you know, honestly, they cost so much that I feel like taming even slightly, even slightly high levels might kind of be a waste to tame. They do take a, quite a lot of element to tame, so that might not be a good idea. So I think I'm mainly going to try to stick to 168 and up to 180, which is my max level. So yeah, it makes sense because they, they, they're very tedious and also they cost a lot of element. So if I'm going to be wasting time and element, I might as well only be wasting it on the super good ones. So yeah, uh, I will catch you guys in a little bit when we have lots of these dudes. Well, I hope you enjoyed my hours of work condensed down into like 10 seconds. Yeah, uh, we've been very, very busy here. In total, we teamed up nine space dolphins, which doesn't really seem like that much. But bear in mind, I have to find the high levels and then chase them around for ages, shoving element into their blowholes, which is not very fun, have to say. 
Um, so yeah, we did manage to get some really good stats. That's why we're stopping. Honestly, I kind of figured we'd probably end up like taming around 20 or something today because sometimes you get really, really bad luck with these stats, but I'm actually okay with what we have and I'll go through that right now. So on the health side, we actually just pulled 61 points, which is fantastic. That is really, really good. I'm so happy about that. And that's coming out at around basically like 4,300, which is a good amount. I mean, these things don't have that much health to begin with. So I'm happy with that. That's really good. And, you know, imprints and, and mutations and stuff. We could easily get that up to a base of around 8K, I would say. So uh, what else do we have? We have the stamina coming out at uh, 58 points, which is also really, really good. Coming in at just under a thousand points for that uh unfortunately that that stat does not get boosted from imprints but you know we can still get some mutations into there although i can't even remember if stamina is actually useful on these things unless you're just purely fighting but when you're in the jet mode i'm pretty sure at least i'm almost certain that it does not require any stamina and like basically the only super good stat on these dudes is actually health because they're not really amazing fighters in general uh, for weight, we actually got a stat on like the lower side and did we, I don't know. No, no, we didn't tame this one on cam. I thought this was the one that we tamed on cam, uh, but we have 53 points into that and that's coming out at just under 600 points. And then um, for the melee, 55 points, which is actually quite good as well. Probably could have kept going to try and get a, like a little bit of a better stat on there, but I'm fine with that. Like, like I said, these things are not fighters. You know, you want to be using the saddle you don't really want to be melee attacking things so anyway now we need to get these dolphins breeding and uh well we've got one male and three females unfortunately when you chuck them out of cryopods and all this stuff they just fly off like just straight up like that um which is kind of annoying but oh you glitched onto the bed cool i was about to say we can kind of almost like send them in a direction and kind of like get them lined up right around there he this one here is very temperamental he just wants to get stuck in everything or she uh, my bad. Let's see. What about around here? Is that gonna send you forward? There we go. And just, just, there you go. Yeah, just stop right there. Cool. All right. So um, they are really, really beautiful. That's one thing I gotta say. Like these space dolphins are so cool looking. They got their little four eyes, obviously, um, and they have all these like crazy looking patterns. Like for mutations, I'm not 100% sure of what I actually even want to go for because they're so crazy looking to begin with. And I feel like no matter what I do, it's not really going to outshine what you can get in the wild, which is kind of the thing with mutations. You know, if you're taming, I don't know, say like a raptor, you don't really want normal raptor colors. You want something crazy looking. So you want to mutate and, and get really crazy colors on those raptors. And then it looks unique. And the same goes for pretty much every other creature that you're mutating. Most people will probably go for colors that you can't always get. But on these things, they already come with really awesome colors. So I don't really know. We could probably eventually go for specific colors like what we did with uh, Night Owl. Let's see, where are you, Night Owl? Uh, so with Night Owl, we specifically went for the black colors and then that little like blue color as well. Um, Maybe we could do something like that with these things. Maybe just like go jet black or something. Actually, you know what? That would probably look really cool. I don't know. I, I am undecided. We're not going to be mutating these things here today. We're just going to actually get them breeding. And I probably should have already put them on breeding a minute ago while we were just standing here for ages. But sometimes I don't think of these things. So the next step for me right here is to go ahead and get them all breeding and uh, basically try to expand these stats so i want to combine them all and we only have one male so it's going to breed with all three of these females and uh, hopefully we can get another male and another female out of all these dudes it's going to take me a little bit to kind of combine up all these stats though but uh once we have that i will bring you back i have to say i think astro delphus wins the award for like the cutest babies in arc these things are so adorable looking. Check them out. Here, come here. Look, they fly really high up as well. They go right above your head for some reason. I don't know why they do that. It's just like, I don't know. It's just like flexing on me. I, I can't even get to you anymore, bud. Come on down. Ah, oh, they're so cute though. Look at the little guy. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at his little face. Oh man, I would die for him. I would. I really would. Um, Yeah, so this one right here has uh weight and melee damage and then the other one i have over here has the weight and the stamina now it's not necessary to have these two but 
it will help out. I can go ahead and just replace the, the melee one that I have over here with the one with melee and weight. And obviously this one right here is going to get ready to breed with this one as soon as it's fully grown. But it's going to take a little bit before that happens. So yeah, kind of just preparing just a little bit because, you know, if we're going to be raising up one baby, we might as well just raise up another and save us a little bit of time later on. So yeah, these things are so adorable though. Ugh, I can't even, I just can't believe it. They're just... I, I never even bred Astrodelphus, did I? I don't think I did. I, I really, really doubt that I actually did, but I should have because these things definitely deserved a little bit more attention. Even though I pretty much used it in every single episode, uh, I still probably could have done some breeding and cool mutations with them too. But you know what? We always have this series to do that type of stuff in. And, you know, it, it actually feels a little bit better to go a little bit crazier with a lot of this stuff instead of just doing a couple little mutations sometimes. Because, uh, I don't know, like, with this cluster series, I know this series is going to be around for a long-ass time. So, I'm happy to spend the time and do absolutely ridiculous shit just all the time. <laughs> like, like what we did with the Thylas. Like, uh, my Mystique is just the most ridiculous thing ever. Like, with her 50 melee mutations and 50 health mutations. Like, I would never do that on any other series that is somewhat limited, you know, in the way that it's probably going to end in a few months or whatever. That type of thing. So, yeah. Anyway... Let me go ahead and wait for these babies to be grown up, and then we will breed them all together. And you know what? I'll just bring you guys back after we're done everything and we have the final, uh, like, perfect male, perfect female type stuff. Okay, so we've done a bunch of breeding. I have a perfect male and a perfect female over here, but right here I have the dolphin that we're going to end up using. Oh, I love that little emote. I tried to get rid of the thing there, but we didn't get to actually see that. Damn, that is such an awesome little emote. I want to see that again. Damn it! That sucks. All right. Well, anyway, um, there we have it. Uh, it's 100% imprinted. I really got to take another look at my server settings because that, that should not be happening. I. I <laughs> okay. Cool. Well, anyway. Um. So yeah, that. Uh, I really figured that that would uh, probably take several imprints. To be honest. Yeah, I, I gotta take a look at that. I know I could imprint these, by the way, if I wanted to, but I don't want to because I never imprint the perfect male and the perfect female just so I can see exactly what their stats will be uh, and stuff like that. It just makes it easier in the long run. So, uh, yeah, we gotta wait for this thing to be fully grown up and then we'll take it out for a spin. I think what I want to do is I want to actually go drop hunting with it, to be honest, because... Uh, it really makes sense to do that, considering the fact that we could potentially pick up a really good bow or a really good little tech pistol or something. I actually have an amazing blueprint for the bow, but it's very, very expensive. And I don't know if I want to necessarily build that right now when I could potentially get an even better blueprint. And the tech bow blueprints just seem to really cost just tons and tons of materials to actually make. I think it costs like 2,000 element, which is ridiculous. Um, oh, by the way, I got that on Genesis Part 1 off of a loot crate. Because uh, I've been spending a little bit of time over there recently. And uh, you'll you'll see why probably soon. We'll see. Anyway, um, so yeah, we're going to wait for these things to grow up. And then we'll be back. All right. So midnight passed and the drops went away. And I don't know if they're back yet. Yeah, I don't see any, unfortunately. Maybe if we fly around a good bit, we might be able to spot some. But uh, I did pump one level into the Astrodelphus. I pumped one into uh, health. And obviously all the other stats updated then. So our melee is pretty good. Let me actually see. How much damage do we do with a bite? Probably not a huge amount. Like, you know, like I said, these things are not very powerful. Uh, they're not really meant to be, you know, creatures that you run around biting things with. Like 167. That's really trash. But, you know... They're not meant for that. They're meant for, you know, this. This crap right here. So, let me see. Is there a single drop that we can go after? There we go. Okay, what is that? Is that, like, blue or green or something? Hmm, I can't remember what resource that means out in space. But it's definitely not two of, like, the main ones. Uh, obviously, we'd want the white, uh, what do you call them? The, <laughs> I can't even speak. The white drops, and then also, is it the orange drops, right? The orange ones are for black pearls, I think? Yeah. Uh, so white and orange is what we're mainly looking for. That means that we can go out and get some mutagel to obviously make mutagen, which we could have easily used to make one of these, and that's why I'll probably hold off and actually mutating. I mean, I don't mind just redoing all that breeding. It wasn't even that difficult, so if I wanted to, I could get enough mutagen and uh basically boost up all of those uh astrodelphuses and just see 
Well, I guess I'd have to see how expensive it is first, but you know, I could do that. I, I could potentially do that. That's a thing that we can maybe do. That is almost a max level tech Quetzal. Um, I don't have taming stuff on me. I didn't bring my rifle. Ah, we'll come back for it. We'll get that. That's actually, that's really good find. <laughs> What is it again? I think it's uh 216 for tech creatures, right? So that would have to be the one interval below then, right? That makes sense in my head. All right, cool. So that's basically 174 plus 20 percent, I think. Anyway, cool. We'll uh we'll come back for that at some stage. Remind me if I forget. Um, let's see. So yeah uh let me see do we have really any other drops around here probably not like i said midnight did pass so yeah oh there we go okay it looks like they're kind of spawning in a little bit do we have any over here though do we no you know one thing that i completely forgot to bring was grenades because i actually have a lot of grenades um and it would have been really handy to bring some because then we could use them on the astrodelphus um one thing that i actually wouldn't mind doing is heading down into the oceany bit over here on this map and just seeing if we could potentially just lay a bed down or something down inside of that little hidden cave thing the underwater cave because I feel like I probably will want some sort of little outpost down there I'm not sure what I want to do down there probably not like a big build but I don't know we, we could do something I don't know what that will be just yet but I definitely want to have something down there just in case we get anything good not really all right I think um like the color of the drops also kind of matters for the loot. I think the white drops is what you want to look for if you want Astrodelphus saddles, which is definitely something that I want. That, the the tech bow, and then the tech pistol, all three of those things are a must for me. So I got to basically farm up those types of drops, whatever ones give all of those types of, uh, like, pieces of loot. Um, I'm not exactly sure what these kind of, like, teal drops right now actually give, but they're giving it a lot of flamethrowers and other types of stuff like that, so I don't know. Let me grab this one, though. Um, is there any more? No. You know, I gotta say, I was, I was a major fan of this DLC, but, like, the series that we had on it did not last very long at all. Kind of annoyed me how quick we ended that, and, like, we kind of got into the boss fight relatively quick, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with that, but... It also kind of just meant that, uh, you know, there wasn't really much point of continuing, which really upset a lot of people, but I'm sorry. Like, there's really not a whole lot, you know, else to do on this map besides, you know, just go crazy with some more mutations and stuff. But I'm definitely glad to be back on here on the cluster, checking out all of this stuff and uh, going even crazier with all of it as well. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe we'll try to tame some more Noglins at some point and maybe actually use them for other things. I don't know, we could grab like a Giga and then bring it into like a Titan fight or something. Ooh, wait. No, that won't be possible. I was just thinking maybe we could use a Noglin on a Dodo Rex at some point. Do you think that might be possible? Do you think that they might overlook that on the Halloween event? And then that maybe could be possible. I reckon that it probably won't be, but I'll definitely have to try it though, just to be sure. Anyway, uh, let's see. Do we have any more drops doesn't really look like it. all right let's uh let's dive deep then let's go all the way down to the bottom area i think it's over in this direction right i believe it might be i'm looking for that one little spot you guys probably all know it because i imagine a lot of people use it on like pvp and stuff like that but um i'll show coordinates and stuff when we get there actually you know what one thing that i completely forgot to mention in this episode was uh this whole thing right here let me just pull that off real quick um so i don't know how many people actually know this because last time i showed it a lot of people were like going crazy over this but you may have noticed that i actually did have a tech suit in my inventory the whole time i took this off when we were taming up the dolphins because i didn't want my tech suit to start breaking a lot because we were kind of just taking like a little bit of damage here and there so it made sense to take it off but the tech suit that you get on this map you can actually put on top of a normal tech suit to gain the armor but also it doesn't cost element to use only on this map so yeah it's kind of nice we get some extra armor that's not the right one what the hell there we go uh let's go ahead and just pop them all on and then we'll pull them over and then just hit e sweet so i actually did have those on and i meant to show that earlier but you know what i kind of forgot kind of forget things sometimes a lot of the times um all right where the hell is this little entrance i know that there's one around here somewhere I just don't know exactly where it is. I think it might be over here, right? 
Oh no, here it is, right? Yeah, this is it right here. Well, this is an entrance to the underground ocean thing, which I really feel would have been nice if they actually, you know, had more stuff in it or something to do down here. Cause like, in all honesty, it's a really nice little pretty ocean, but like, it's very boring. Um, there's like a lot of creatures. There's a lot of alpha, so that's nice. But at the same time, it's, it's, yeah, I, I don't see the point. <laughs> do people live down here? I imagine people probably do. Oh, look, there's our little spot. Hell yeah, this is it. Here, let me, uh, let me go ahead and grab out the GPS. Boom. So that's where you want to be. Was that 43.4 and then 69? <laughs> um, so yeah, this is our cool little, uh, like natural underground or underwater, uh, room i suppose i don't really know what to call this it's really cool down here though i love this like it's perfect we could make like a little secret base down here or something uh, i don't really know what i want to do with it but it's definitely something that i i would love to build in at some point are you seriously being attacked really can i even leave you for two minutes okay let me see uh what is attacking you i wonder let me grab my tech rifle and let us find out oh that's a lot of uh sharks and stuff Okay, hey, 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 come here. Come here, little Astrodelphus. Come on. Maybe I should have brought you into the area. That would have made a little bit of sense. Let me, okay, got you, sweet. All right, let's let's uh, let's get out of here then. Or I guess maybe we could kill those guys. So obviously mutations and stuff won't make a difference for the tech saddle, it won't make it any more powerful. That's not really how it works. Um, but in terms of mutations on these things, I wouldn't mind just mainly going for like health mutations just to kind of keep it alive a little bit more. I don't know if I'll really bother with the rest of the stats. And in fact, I know I did say earlier that we might use like mutagen on them, but that would be a lot of mutagen. So maybe we'll just use it on the health, the one with the health stat. That could be kind of cool. All right. One more thing I actually want to do with these guys at some point is uh, take them in to fight a desert titan. Maybe grab some of the guys and do that. I don't know. That could be kind of fun. It could be kind of boring though at the same time. That's one concern about it because I feel like it might be fun for like two or three minutes and then, you know, it's just, you know, grindy shooting constantly. I don't know. Just an idea. We could maybe do that or something. I don't know. See, I have all like these ideas all the time and I'm like, oh, that could be fun. Maybe we could fight this boss with that creature or whatever. But like most of the time it's like, you know, it, it's great. But like, is it good footage? Is it really worth spending ages mutating this creature just to do that for like five minutes? and then, you know, use something else. Yeah. <laughs> lots and lots of ideas get scrapped like that. That's why I really like this cluster series though, because I can kind of like mess around with all these things in the background and then just have them. And if they work out and they make a good video, then cool. But if they don't, then whatever, you know, we have lots of other things to do. It's not like I'm really like putting my whole, like all of my time on the line, I suppose. I don't know. I really like the cluster gameplay is what I'm trying to say. I kind of want to get back to more of this. All right, come on. These freaking sharks are taking ages to kill. You know what? We could probably maybe take one of these guys in to fight Mooter as well. Although I can already see that that would take a millennia. So maybe not. Like without the grenades, this is very painful. <laughs> uh, I guess we could get in here and do some cool maneuvers like that. I like that one. Or we could probably just spam this. I don't know why I don't use this at all actually. I should probably be using this, especially with my max little bonus damage thing that I have going on from killing those guys. Pew, pew, pew. Come on. There's so many things around here. I don't even know what everything is. We've got a bunch of dolphins, apparently. Cool. All right. Uh, anything else? No? Oh, you know what would have been really cool to do down here? Oh, I don't know if it would have made sense, though. They could have done something with, like, Mooter and have her, like, escape the simulation or something. That would have been really funny. Oh, my God. That actually would have been a really nice idea. I don't know how much sense that would actually make, considering that she's kind of somewhat coding. But, yeah, I don't know. That could have been interesting. I don't, I don't know. I just... I really like this. It's a really nice setting, and it's crazy cool looking with all, like, these bits. And I kind of wish that... There was like some sort of like land bridge here. So, you know, this was like oxygen. You could like run along here or something. That would have been nice. Um, I just don't 100% understand the point of this area. It just seems like 
extra part of the map just for the sake of having like an extra part of the map or maybe they saw the dolphin and they were like maybe we should have water so they can try them out you know against other water creatures or something i don't know i really don't i i, I do not understand the point of this and that is two alpha megalodoodles together i'm not killing them with the dolphin that's just not gonna happen let me in fact let me go ahead and just whoa okay that's really good that is really really good um now i know mystique isn't a water creature per se but i think maybe we could, we could maybe use mystique anyway uh what is your oxygen stat at you are rocking 900 oxygen all right well if it looks like it's dicey then we could probably try and put you away <laughs> i want to try this anyway hello megalodons come on we gotta kill these things oh crap they're probably boosting each other and everything no look at mystique <laughs> oh she's trying to be a shadow maid oh that's one thing i'm really excited for over here by the way very very excited for the shadow maids we're gonna go absolutely ridiculously insane with them i would say <laughs> I love me some shadow maids, and they are way too powerful, so we need to... Oh, no, that one died from, from bleeding. That means that we didn't get the kill. That means that we didn't get the XP. Cool. Love that. Um, but yeah, shadow mains are really, really good, and we'll probably end up making the most ridiculous ones ever, and maybe using those for, like, every single boss in arc. That could be fun. <laughs> maybe also another overseer fight. Even though we've already done it, and we have nothing to gain except for the pride of defeating the overseer with shadow maids and not ever, not you know having to fight it on foot or whatever uh let me see <laughs> let me go ahead and grab these sweet mystique where are you there you are where are you going mystique huh there we go come on all right you're you're doing good look at her she's a regular down here all right well anyway guys i think that's probably gonna be it for today i'm actually gonna keep all this fish meat screw that Sweet. Um, that's going to be it for today. If you have enjoyed this video, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. Uh, we will definitely check in on the Astrodelphuses again at some point. But like I said, I'll probably I'll probably end up doing some mutation-y stuff and then just show you guys the Congress at some point. So yeah, that is it. And I will catch you in the next one.